Hey everybody, my name is Chris Garrity. I'm with the USGS Energy Resources Program. I'm here to give you a sneak peek of WindFarm. WindFarm is a web mapping application that supports the newly released National Wind Turbine Database. WindFarm lets users interact with this database and even run GIS type utilities without the need for a GIS. All you need is a web browser and an internet connection. Let's take a more detailed look at the database. The database contains over 47,000 unique records. Each record was attributed and locationally verified. As I zoom in, we can start to see these wind fields take shape. Continued zooming reveals the turbines in the high resolution satellite base. Information about any one of these points can be accessed by simply clicking on the site location. At that point, a pop-up is revealed and it shows things like the site name, capacity, the blade length, and the total height of the structure. Navigation through the site couldn't be easier. If, for example, I knew that there was a wind farm north of Palm Springs, I could use my location tool, type in Palm Springs, and instantly zoom to that area. The location tool also supports things like street addresses, lat long, zip code, or even informal names like Disney World, for example. The viewer lets users search the database. So for example, if I knew my site name, let me pull one up here, I could type in that name in the search utility and it will return to me the number of turbines within that field. For the casual user who doesn't necessarily know the site name, the search tool can be useful in other ways. Let's say for example I wanted to determine how many wind turbine sites might be powering or help to power a high school. I could type in high school in my search and in this case, um, seven sites fit that criteria. Well, let's say, for example, um, my local Walmart, I've seen they had a uh, turbine in the backyard helping to power the facility. If I wanted to get more information about that, I could simply type in Walmart and then maybe click on the point to get some of that uh, additional information about uh, the Walmart site. The viewer also has some GIS-like capabilities lets the user interact a little bit more with uh, the data. So let me go ahead and zoom in here to Southern California to show you what I mean. I swapped out the satellite base with a more neutral base to highlight the um, thematic data. So let's say I wanted to style these points based on their power generation capacity. With the filter data tool I can do that where my cooler colors, my blues and my yellows are lower capacity units where um, and my hotter colors are the reds are the uh, higher capacity units. These grays are, are units that we don't have information for. I can turn those guys off, eliminate them from the view. So if I wanted to, for example, filter out all the turbines in the nation that had a capacity greater than two and a half, I can just use my sliders and quickly eliminate anything with a capacity less than two and a half. I could do the same with some other attributes like total height. I could say, show me everything, every turbine that um, has a total height greater than 110. I can use these sliders in conjunction to, to kind of run advanced type um, filters. So I could say show me um, turbines with a capacity greater than 1 but less than 3 and a total height greater than 65 with a blade length, I don't know, greater than 40 meters for example. So you can see I've really <coughs> filtered down on my data set. This is just some functionality available through the application. We invite you to check out the application and download our web services for integration in your own systems at the link below.